This video is going to talk about the one, six, four, five chord progression. Uh, another progression that's quite popular in popular music. Uh, in fact, you've probably played it at least once on the piano in your life. Uh, let's do our quick review here. Here is our C major scale with our chords underneath. Just getting our habits going here. See if you can do it faster than me. There we go. So these are our primary triads that we're dealing with. We are dealing with the same four chords that we dealt with last time. The one, the four, the five, and the six. Um, we're, we'll get to spend a little bit of time in the next module with that one. Uh, the seven, the uh, flat seven in particular. The two and the three aren't used all that much, but we did talk about the two and the one. So really the three is, is not all that, all that popular. Anyway, so this particular pattern that we're looking at is one, six, four, five. So uh, C, uh, I just wrote a G. C, A, F. That's what we're looking at. So the bass line sounds like this. So hopefully now you're recognizing this and realize that you played this on some piano at some point in your life. Et cetera, et cetera, right? So this is that progression. That is not the only place that it exists, but it is the most common version that you've heard. Um, it shows up in a lot of places, and you can slow it down. Um, to it. Part of why people love it is because of what I just did with the bass line is that you can have these passing tones in between your roots that just give it a little bit more interesting motion. This shows up in a lot of doo-wop, right? And the version that we're going to listen to here in just a second actually is do up the one that's sticking in my head is now, which is not that one that's playing that one. Oh no, that is it. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna listen to here just a little bit. I, I have a chicken song in my head. Um and that's okay. Um but anyway, so this is super common, something that you hear a lot again, that bass line is your key to really hearing this kind of talk. And I hinted at this a little bit earlier just because I, I have I was singing a different song than I've seen the same song. Um, Stand By Me is a great example of this, so we're going to listen to just a little bit of it. Different key. So this, this is a perfect example of where you can hear this particular chord progression. You can hear it in all sorts of songs. Um, take a listen here where you can find it. Play around with how you might want to make it work for yourself and share something with us. <laughs> 